Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, the stock dude, back with another hot video. Now, as you can see by the picture that's on your screen right now, this is a picture of lottery winners. People that have hit the lottery and you see the dollars floating up in the air and you also see the hands reaching to try to get those dollars. Man, it's got to be a beautiful thing. Now, I'll be honest with you, I've never hit the actual lottery. You know, where you go to 7-Eleven or a gas station or whatever and you buy a ticket and you pick these numbers and, you know, you hit the lottery and you know the rest of the story. I've never done that. But I can tell you what I have done, and I have done it multiple times, is hit the stock market lottery. Oh yeah, the stock market has a lottery as well, but your chances of winning are a lot higher than the regular lottery. Let me take you to a website by the name of Finviz, and we're going to look at a stock chart of this company by the name of Pinterest. Now, Pinterest is a company that sells and have people post recipes and home decoration ideas on this particular website. And they make their money by advertising revenue. And they also make their money, of course, by the amount of people who use their website. See, right now we're in the middle of a pandemic. So a lot of people are not in position to come and go and do things outside of the home like they normally would because we are in a state where it's not exactly safe to be going out and about as you normally would during the pandemic. So Pinterest is a company that takes advantage of people being in the house is the best way to put it. Because if you're home, you don't have a lot to do other than be on the computer. So Pinterest is a computer-based company. So the stock market lottery that I want to talk to you guys about, this is the way it works. In order to play the stock market lottery game, is what I call it, you have to have a company like Pinterest that trades options and options contracts. Now, for those that don't know, an option contract is a contract between you and someone else through the stock market where you have the right but not the obligation to purchase 100 shares of stock. And what that means is through that contract, it will allow you to control 100 shares of stock. So today, which is the 31st of July, 2020, Today, this company right here, Pinterest, reported their earnings report. And to put it mildly, Pinterest blew the doors off of their revenue for this particular earnings report. In other words, their expectations of the amount of money that they made as a company was a lot higher than what people actually thought. And once again, the stock market lottery is based around companies that have an increase in price, such as what happened today with Pinterest. Now, if you look right here, each one of these candlesticks represent one day of trading. This day right here, this green candlestick represents today's trading. As of today at market close, Pinterest stock was trading at $34.29 per share. It went up by 36% plus today. In other words, it went up in price greater than $9 a share. It went up $9.10 higher today, which is this candlestick right here, than it was yesterday. Now, yesterday, the price was a little over $25 per share. They had their earnings report. Boom. They blowed their earnings report out the water, made a lot of money because, once again, we're in a pandemic, and a lot of people are not able to come and go as they would normally do. 
So people are at home. So Pinterest picked up a lot of extra users, people that would not normally be on the site this past quarter, they were there. Earnings went up $9.10 per share. Now, that may seem like quite a bit of money per share in order for that price to rise, and it is. But let me tell you something. With the stock market lottery, this $9.10 per share gain that Pinterest had due to their good earnings could be worth hundreds, possibly even thousands of dollars by playing the stock market lottery. Now the key to this strategy is you wanna find companies that allow options to be traded in their stock. Pinterest is one of those companies. I use finviz.com to find these stocks. As you see right here, it says optionable and it has the word yes, which means that Pinterest allows you to trade options. And once again, an option is a contract that allows you to have the ability, but not the obligation to purchase 100 shares of any particular stock. Now, in order to find stocks like this, I have a strategy and I'm gonna share that strategy with you guys right now. But before I do, I wanna also remind you to leave comments at the bottom of this video. Once you watch it, leave comments because I love, 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 love to answer any questions that you guys may have. And I also like to respond in a manner back and forth to kind of see where you guys are because I am not an expert and anything that you get from any of these videos should not be taken as stock advice. Do your own due diligence on anything that you put your hard earned money into. I'm not an expert, nor do I play one on YouTube. But back to the lottery. So once again, you want to look to find stocks that allow you to trade options. In other words, they have to be optionable as Pinterest is. Also, you want to look for stocks that are in an uptrend or a wedge formation. As you see here, this is an uptrend. This line on the top is what's known as resistance. You see the price goes up here and then it immediately comes down forming a line of resistance straight across. But when it comes down, it catches what's known as bids. In other words, people buy the stock because they feel that it's undervalued and it comes off of that bottom line and continues to slowly move higher. So you wanna find stocks that are optionable and you wanna find stocks that are either in an uptrend or wedge formation like this, or you wanna find stocks that are highly oversold, which means the price is artificially low. Then you look for cheap option contracts. Cheap contracts in value, sometimes they can be as little as a dollar per contract. Now, just to give you an example, in this area right here, let's say between the middle of June and July, let's say this turn up on your normal stock scanner that you use in your everyday trading. And you notice like, hey, this is an uptrend and something could possibly be going on because this stock seems to be steadily rising in price. See all of these green blocks and green arrows? Those are days in which the price that day was higher than it was the previous day. So when you find that consistency between that channel, let's say you didn't notice it until the end of last month, the end of, end of June. When you notice that this stock price is remaining between these two lines, between that channel, that is your signal to start to look for cheap option contracts. Now, just to give you an idea, we're going to go here to Yahoo fan Finance, and we're going to see this contract right here was at a $40 strike price. Now, contracts have an expiration date. So this contract, this price right here of 71 cents, 
Remember, an option contract represents 100 shares of stock. So if the price is 71 cents, then the price of buying that contract now would be 100 times 71 cents, which is $71. So each one of these contracts now are worth $71 a piece. You look on this, the back end right here, this is how much the price of the contract went up in value since yesterday. It went up in value 59 cents since yesterday. So to find yesterday's price, what you could have bought Pinterest for yesterday, what you would do is subtract today's price, which is 71 cents, minus 59 cents. That comes to a value of 12 cents per contract. Multiplied by 100 shares, it equals $12 per contract. So yesterday, you could have gotten one contract for $12 and sold it today for $71. That would have given you a profit of over 490% gain. So yesterday, these $71 contracts were worth $12. Look at this one right here. $37 strike price. Today's price is $1.22. So in other words, in order to buy this particular contract, it will cost you $122 per contract. But look at this. It went up in price. This is the change. It went up in price $1.18. So just to make sure you understand that, you take that $122 and subtract how much it went up today, and it'll give you what it was in price yesterday. So take 122 and subtract 118. That means that yesterday, only 24 hours ago, this particular contract was worth four cent, which is four dollars. So you could have bought a contract for four dollars, just one yesterday and sold that same contract for $122. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the stock market lottery. That's how it works. And these things are all over the stock market. And before this video ends, if you stick around to the end, I'm going to give you two stocks that I'm looking at contracts on right now in the stock market lottery. But hang around to the end of the video for those. So once again, you could have purchased these stocks or these contracts for $4 per contract. Now, I'm not a rich guy. I don't have a lot of money. But in my brokerage account, I got $4. I had that. So what I have a strategy of doing is scouring the stock market on a daily basis and just looking because a lot of these stocks are of companies that you are familiar with, like Pinterest, a lot of them. And the same thing, you can find lottery tickets with stocks like Apple, Amazon, CVS, Target, Walmart, I mean, these things are all over the stock market, but you have to keep it in the back of your mind when you're doing your regular scans each day that you scan to find new stocks to trade. Look at the patterns, and you'll see by looking at different patterns that it's almost like a setup. Price comes up, goes down. Price comes down and it finds support, which means people start buying it, and then it goes back up. Those, when they form this formation right here, which is very powerful, this wedge up formation, when that price stays within these ranges right here from that top line of resistance to the bottom line of support, you have to pay attention to those stock market lottery ticket contracts. So, that's what this strategy is. You hold those cheap contracts when you find them and you buy them, let's say, three months out. Let's say today is the 31st of July. So if I'm looking at lottery tickets, 
I'm looking at lottery tickets and stock market uh, lottery tickets that expire in September, maybe expire in October. So I'm going out a few months from now, which is July, the end of July, July the 31st. And I'm looking at expiration dates out to September and October and possibly even November to find those stock market lottery tickets. Now, I told you guys that if you hang around to the end of the video that I would give you two companies that I'm looking at stock market lottery picks right now and stock market lottery contracts in these two companies right now. Now, once again, if you like the content that you're hearing and you want to hear more of this stock market contract talk and stock market investment talk and alternate investment advice, if you want any of that stuff, please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment because I love, like I said before, I love to go back and forth with people and get different ideas. So please leave comments. But without further ado, the first company that I have on my radar, and once again, I am not an expert, nor do I play one on YouTube, but I'm just telling you what I am looking at that's on my radar. First company you've heard of, Facebook. Facebook, everybody knows about Facebook. Facebook had their earnings uh, came in yesterday, July the 30th, after the market closed. And as you can see, this is today's candlestick. You look, Facebook went up in price after their earnings, over 8%. Facebook's gain for today, is that right? $19.17. So today's price after the earnings report is $19.17 higher than it was here yesterday. So being that that price jumped from way down here up $19, this is what I'm looking at. I'm going to my other website, Yahoo Finance, and I'm going to tape, type in FB which is the ticker symbol for Facebook. And I'm gonna to go to the options tab and we're gonna see if we can find a potential stock market lottery ticket. Gonna to go to the month of October and we're gonna look for cheap prices on contracts. Look at here. This is what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the February no, not February, excuse me. I'm looking at, for Facebook, I'm looking at October contract for $27 a piece. Two seven, twenty-seven dollars $27 each. So for $27, you can have an opportunity to possibly gain hundreds, possibly even thousands of dollars only for the price of $27. Now, as you see, it's $27 per contract right now, but you can set what's known as a limit order for a lower price, and possibly that price may even get cheaper. That's matter of fact, that's what I would probably do starting Monday. Instead of putting in a price in my brokerage account for $27, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put maybe $20 because the, the gyrations and the up and downs of these contracts is wow sometimes. Prices swing high and swing low. So you can put an order in at a lower price and possibly get it to get filled. So I'm looking at Facebook, the October 16th expiration date and the $370 call option for $27 each. That's the first one. Now, let's see what my other one is. This other company, ticker symbol INTC, is by the name of Intel. Same thing. Go to Yahoo Finance, type in the search bar your ticker symbol, in this case INTC, for Intel. Hit your options tab. Hit your expiration dates, which are right here. 
and I'm going back to October. Once again, that's the key, is to buy these things cheap and hold them for a couple of months and see what happens in that stock market lottery. And this is what I'm doing. I'm going for the October 85 strike price call. Look at there. This is six cent per contract. In other words, these contracts are going for six dollars. Six dollars a piece. That is crazy cheap. And you can do the same thing on Intel. You can set your brokerage account to automatically buy this contract at let's say five dollars a piece or you can set your limit price to be bought at four dollars a piece the price probably will go down cheaper and i'm buying these things as early as monday and that is how you do it from beginning to end once again i'm the one known as the stock dude i wanted to make this video tomorrow which is saturday but i just could not wait and i decided to give it to you guys right now so once again, if you like the content that you hear, subscribe to my channel and please leave your comments below because I like to get your feedback. I'm the one known as the stock dude. Holler at your boy later. Peace.